I'm Stacy, and I'm back with another lesson on archiving with my friends from Bookbunk. Did you know that we also have to protect our archives from changes in weather? Come with me and I'll show you how. Pollution from cars and other machines can cause high temperatures, high humidity, which is too much moisture, that can lead to browning, fading, molding and brittleness of the items in our archives. Browning is also called cockling, and it's when your paper turns brown and gets wrinkles. Fading is due to overexposure to light which fades the writing and pictures. It also changes the color on paintings and drawings. Brittleness is when a paper gets weak. It happens when items are not stored in ideal temperatures, which is anything over 20 degrees Celsius. When it's too hot, paper and fiber as well as paint can dry out and break. Now, before you build your archive, here are some things you can do to prevent damage from climate change. 1. Pick a room that does not allow too much dust and pollution from the outside. Make sure you keep the room and your items clean. 2. Store your items away from windows or doors to limit dust exposure and polluted gases. Should any dust come through, use a gentle round brush to brush it off. I use my mom's old makeup brushes, but wash them well first. You can also use a vacuum cleaner to keep dust out of rooms. 3. Make sure there isn't too much sun getting in to prevent fading. Less light also means that you can keep the temperature in the room low. 4. Limit exposure to moisture, which damages the items directly and also attracts pests like cockroaches and termites, which feed on paper and the glue we use to bind books. These insects prefer warm, dark, dirty rooms with little air. Here are things you can do if you're already dealing with any of these problems. If you live in a very dry area, you need to humidify your room. You can do this by bringing in more house plants, boiling water indoors, wetting the curtains, or drying laundry inside the house. If there's too much moisture in the room, then you need to take out the plants if there are any. Avoid drying laundry in the house and fix any leaks in the roof. You can also pour baking soda, salt and charcoal into a bowl and place it in the corner of the room or next to any damp areas. Beware of pests like rats and mice. You should always check your archives to make sure to get rid of pests as often as you can. So. Just a reminder of our top five points when it comes to protecting our archives from damage. One, control the temperature. Two, balance the humidity. Three, maintain a good flow of fresh, clean air. Four, control sources of light. And five, keep insects and pests away. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. You've taken so much time to build your archive, so make sure you protect those precious memories. And as always, get archiving!